song? Oh, we can't sing that. But yeah, that Justin Timberlake song? Yeah, I got that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about what's on tap today. We have a great show. One of the things is last minute ideas for Halloween costumes, and this is great. And I know what you're thinking, Halloween is still a couple weeks away. Mm -hmm. But if you're a parent, Chances are a lot of the size is already gone, so we're going to have some really good ideas on that. And of course, everybody wants to know what the weather will look like all weekend long, so we will be sure to get you up to speed on that so you know if you need to cram your plans into the front or the back end of your weekend. And I love a party, but when you add party with a purpose, it takes on a whole new meaning. I'll tell you more about that later in the show. All right, so right now let's jump into the River City Current, and today's topic, this is kind of interesting, and it has to do with health Fact and fiction, a lot of times there are sayings out there, folklore, if you will, on things that we perceive to be correct, but really, are there any science facts behind it? All right, so we're going to start out with one that has to do with cracking your knuckles. You ever hear that? Like, you know, people crack them, and then what do people say about it? They say that they're going to get all gnarly and it and causes arthritis, arthritis and, and things like and that. And I crack my neck, and Eden always looks at me sideways, and I don't know if it's, she's worried about me getting arthritis or just the sound, but... I'm, evidently, I'm not going to be in such bad shape. And exactly. So for that one, you will not get arthritis. What it is, it's a fluid that gets caught in your joints, and then when you crack it, the bubble pops, and that's it. So it's one of those that, you know, people still believe it to happen. I think over 50%, according to the study, is out there, but... It's not the case. So it's like bubble wrap. You're just like, pow, 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 pow. Oh, I see. Yeah. Boom. So, Wait, so keep see. cracking away. <laughs> these, this is a, by the way, this is a, a survey that they did that people feel like they still believe these things. Yeah, yeah. So these over 50% right. believe that. Yeah. Right. And then uh, another one, eating carrots is good for your eyes. A lot of people say that. And again, more than half the people surveyed believe that as well. So what do you think on that one? I have to say no, because I see more and more people wearing glasses. And if you've been eating carrots your whole life, and then once you hit 40, you need glasses, it's like, well, what was the point? All right, so according to this, the science behind it, it actually does help with your vision because of vitamin A. And that's essential for how our eyes process light and turn it into something that our brains actually recognize and know. So there is something to that one. Now, keeping on the, you know, the whole theme of like diet and getting all your nutrients, what about this old one? An apple a day keeps the doctor away. What do you think on that? Plausible? I think it couldn't hurt. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, but I don't eat an apple a day, and I try, and I don't see a lot of doctors. So, yeah, so there you go. So, with that one, what they're saying is, it's not the fact that actual apple; it's having a healthy diet. An uh -huh. apple alone, <laughs> that's not going to do anything. So, they don't want people just to eat an apple and that's it. So, that one kind of makes sense, right? That one you does. Hear there, that one a lot. there are so many of these. Did, what about the whole like a, a watermelon seed will grow in your stomach, and you'll like if you swallow the seed? That happens according to the Enquirer. <laughs> you ever see that? Yeah. There's always a person there and they have a stomach coming up. <laughs> Gotta be you careful with news of the weird. <laughs> but another big one out there is that whole, you know, kick with uh, probiotics. Right. Right. And uh, so, you know, a lot of times, I think it was, what, how about 10 years ago? It was a big push. Everybody wanted that. And then recently they came out, it doesn't do anything. And now what they're saying is they don't know. Because <laughs> what happens, like, whatever the active ingredients in a probiotic, when it sits on the shelf so long, is it like dying or mm -hmm. when it goes through your digestive system? Is it doing anything because is it or is it fading away? I think there's a lot to be said for active bacteria, which is what probiotics are. I mean, we've always heard that eating yogurt is good for you, for your digestion, for those reasons. But I don't know about when they try to take anything that's good in food and put it into a pill form or a right, capsule yeah. or a supplement. All of a sudden, you start to get into that whole like, are you just trying to get my money or do you really think that I need to take this out of the yogurt and put it into a pill. Just eat the yogurt. It's so yummy. It is, especially when you put like the little M&Ms on top. Or oh, you know how yes. they have that separate compartment on there? So I like the M&Ms and then you throw like some baby Ruth in there and really get the full fix because you're getting the milk and the chocolate. It does have, have some health benefit as well. So these being old wives tales <laughs> and me being an old wife, I feel like if you have any questions, you can always just ask me, guys. I will tell you. Which <laughs> right. I'll give you. I'll give it to you straight. I you promise. don't want any mansplaining from Rance and Mark. You want Eden splaining. Well, it's an old wives' tale. I'm the only one in this room fitting that bill. <laughs> right? Am I right? At least at the desk. Am I right? Yeah. Facts. Everyone's standing right here. Facts. facts. <laughs> All right. So our, our next topic. This is kind of funny. It has to do with a word slip where you say something where you really didn't mean to say. So one that happens is, let's say you're on, on a phone call. It could be with a coworker, And at the ending, you're like, okay, bye, love you, when you didn't mean to say that. <laughs> Has that ever happened? Like, you just kind of slip up on what you're saying. It's kind of like the wrong person. 
I don't, I've had it happen where somebody said it to me and I reacted, but no, I don't ever really say that. Or kids do it all the time with mm. teachers. Mm. They'll call a teacher oh, that like, is the worst. mom or dad. And when that ever happens, like the look on their face. Like, <laughs> More <laughs> time. Like betrayal, like she betrayed my mom. I've done the I love you thing on the phone before with coworkers. Oh, you do it with me all whoever. the time too. Yeah. Well, I do love you, Mark. Oh, okay, that's what I thought. I meant that. <laughs> no, I do. I, I feel like I've done it many times, but you know, people say it more than they used to say it. Yeah. So, I mean, yes, it's know, more casual, like just yeah. kind of loose with that. But I've yeah. done it in situations where it was Totally not appropriate. Okay, bye. I love you. Uh, you know, I mean, it's not that I don't, but right. I didn't mean to say it just then. I, I was say waiting it to the for bill the right. collector. You know, it'd be even worse if it's like a, a voice message and you say it, and then you have to like leave another message, like, "Hey, hey. about that, I love you." Let thing. me take that back. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know, I. Love